think so too. We've seen plenty of hilly trolls before, and they're always the bad guys. But this is different. Uh oh, this is right by the Wangshu Inn too. Oh, the guests are in great danger. Now that we've seen it, if we don't do anything about it, Paimon will feel really guilty. Hmm. Let's go take care of them. Oh, these super evil hilly trolls are more difficult to defeat than the usual kind, too. Hey, seems like people are gathering over there. Oh, wonder what they're doing. Xiao? Now that you mention it, this guy's mask is kind of similar to the one that he wears. But the magic he was using seemed even more adept to see than Xiao's. Shall we go say hi? Ahem. Hello! Allow us to introduce ourselves. This is... Please. If you're here to thank me, there's no need. Cleansing the world of evil is the duty of the Adepti. Think nothing of it. One certainly doesn't. Wait, who are you? One had assumed you were followers, but on closer inspection, it seems that we have not met. My name's Paimon, and this is my sidekick. One sees. One, too, shall introduce oneself, for it is good manners to comply. <clears throat> the one before you is the Adeptus, Master of Stars, though one is better known to one's followers as Star Snatcher. One descended from one's mountain abode to cleanse the world of evil, whereupon fate saw fit that our paths should cross. Now, tell me that which you wish for. Our wishes? Paimon thought that the Adepti and Leilai were just really good in battle. You mean you can grant people's wishes too? <laughs> there are different levels of Adepti. Are not the stars loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon? Yet, it is unbecoming of an Adepti to boast of one's powers. One would have you first speak to one's followers, and only then make your verdict. Have you seen the Master of Stars in action? His power truly hails from the Divine. I believe that now, there is finally some hope for my ailing father. Watching him use his magic is all the proof you need. A true Adeptus, no doubt about it. Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty adeptal to me. Hm. Could have also been because there was mist flower in it, though. Adepti medicine is surely the most potent. <laughs> My father will recover soon. I just know it. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices if you seek help from an adeptus like the Master of Stars. I had to give a few antiques as offerings. But my father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? The Millilith don't really need to do shifts when the Master of Stars is around, do they? Uh, I'm a merchant, and I had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me, as presumptuous as that was. Uh, reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. Uh, we didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. It didn't come cheap, of course, but then soliciting the services of an Adeptus is a monumental affair. Just look at the Rite of Dissension. So, I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Liu would be willing to. Finally, a life full of hope and purpose. Oh, are you believers too? 
After my fiance had been left, I cried every day. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiance and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. I can't explain it, but it really worked. <sighs> I know in my heart that he'll return. This is not some sort of positive thinking trick. I'm certain of it. I'm so overjoyed that I gave a portion of my wedding budget to the Master of Stars as an offering. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiancé back, in which case I wouldn't need it anyway. What do you think? One's adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. <laughs> Surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Xie Wu Liang, known to the people as Liang Zi. He said this, All things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Uh, nope. It makes them way more complicated. But basically what you're saying is that their wishes can come true, right? Indeed. You are perceptive, my diminutive friend. Okay. Um, so we also have one other question. Oh? You need but ask. One wanders among mortals, doing good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. Ah, got it. Now then, what are your wishes? Hmm. One senses that a tragic tale lies behind this wish. So be it. This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. But first, one must see some proof of your faith. What's that supposed to mean? The way of the Adepti cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning, then regrettably, one may lend you no aid. What do we do? Gryphon doesn't understand him at all. Oh, that's right! Some of those believers mentioned that they had to pay a pretty sum for the Adeptus' help, didn't they? Well, Paimon's not forking over any Mora, and we don't have anything valuable enough on us. You don't even have a vision. Hey, why don't we make him a tasty snack? No one can resist the temptation of good food, can they? Yep, a tasty snack is sure to work. <laughs> why don't we head over to Wanwen Bookhouse and see if they got any new recipes in? <laughs> 